Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Apple Watch Series 5 Nike Edition. Now you can pick this up from apple.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 430 bucks for the Wi-Fi version and 530 bucks for the cellular version. Now before we get started, let me answer two questions. Number one, what's the difference between the Series 4 and the Series 5? Two major upgrades. First up, you're getting better battery life. And secondly, you're getting an always on display. Now, shout out to anybody that seen my full review for the Series 4. Y'all know that was my biggest gripe. No always on display. So now with Series 5, you don't got to keep flicking the wrist. You're going to have an always on display. That's a huge upgrade. Next question. What's the difference between the Series 5 and the Series 5 Nike Edition? Three things. Number one. You're getting the Nike bands. Now, on a side note, you can buy these separately. They'll work on any Apple Watch. Next, you're getting the Nike Run Club app. Now, that's exclusive to the Apple Watch Nike Edition. You see the Run Club app? I'll show you how that works in a minute. If you're heavy into working out, especially running, you're going to want to check that out. And number three, you're getting the exclusive Nike Watch Faces. Now, as far as the Run Club app and the Nike Watch Faces, those are exclusive to the Apple Watch Nike Editions. Other than that, everything is exactly the same. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Now, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Here we go. Apple Watch Series 5 Nike Edition. Nice black box. Giggity. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so this is real sleek. All right, got your Apple Watch, your little Nike logo, the swoosh. And of course, right on cue, ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White Shoes, I love my white calm down. Coming in late today, it is what it is. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, here we go. Inside, this is going to be your Apple Watch. First, let's take a look at the Nike band. Now, I think I went with the black on this one, but let's see. Okay, here we go. Inside, usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. Now it's going to come with your medium and large band and your small and medium band. Okay, now I went with the all black this time. Real nice. We'll leave these on the table. That's it for that. Now, shoes, scoot, scoot. Series 5. Here we go. Now let's see, this is gonna be the space gray face. Ooh, this is sick. Okay, let me do a smell test on this one. Mm! Yes. <laughs> this smells just like a fresh set of Nikes, all right? Fresh set of Air Jordans. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's see, all right, so this is gonna be your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. Here's your plug. Here's your charging, your wireless charging pad. I do I need to, I don't really need to. I matter of fact, I'll set it up later to show you how to use it. But you've seen this a million times. Plug it into USB, drop your watch right in the front, charge it right up. That's pretty much it. So now let's drop these bands on. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go with the large. Why not? Slaps right on. Sit that power button. Now, one thing you will notice, I went with the uh cellular version. So you got that red ring. All right, now shout out to Apple. I'm glad they got rid of the red dot and went with the red ring. It's a little less discreet, all right? So this way, remember when you had a Series 3, that big red dot? Anybody that didn't have the dot, you look like a peasant. Now with this one, just that little, that little hint of red. So if somebody's really clocking you like that, they'll be able to see it. But if you don't get the cellular version, you won't look like a peasant. Okay, let's slap this on the wrist. Now I love the Nike bands. They slap on so fast and easy. I did it is. Ooh, this all black is kind of sick. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll set everything up. Then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I got everything all set up, and I got to be honest with y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Apple Watch Series 5 Nike Edition is a major, major, major go. I love this watch. If you had the Series 4 and you liked it, you're gonna love the Series 5. 
Now, look, I know somebody's going to ask, is it worth upgrading from the Series 4 to the Series 5? And the answer is yes. And the answer is yes for one reason and one reason only, always on display. What good is having a smartwatch that doesn't have an always on display where you got to constantly keep going like this? No, I don't like that. Always on display, that's a must have for your smartwatch. Now look, if you want to see a full in-depth review, watch my Series 4 video. All of my likes and dislikes are pretty much exactly the same, but I'll just try to recap them real quick. Here's everything that I don't like. Number one, no speaker to play music. Now that's kind of petty, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but if you get your Galaxy Watch, you can play music directly from the watch out of the watch speaker. With the Apple Watch, you got a speakerphone, you're gonna get audible alerts, but you can't play music. I don't like that. Next, you can't change the notification sounds. All right, every time you get a text message, you're gonna hear that bing. You can't change to a whistle, a bell, a cash register sound. Everybody's Apple Watch is gonna sound the same. So if you're sitting at a table with a bunch of people and all y'all wearing Apple Watches, every time somebody get a text, it's always gonna sound the same. I don't like that. Next, Apple Watches are not compatible with Android phones. Now, I don't like that. I, I don't like that at all. You might want to have a dope Apple Watch, but you happen to have a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the best phone on the market. Not cross compatible. Not the biggest deal in the world because chances are, if you're heavy into the Apple ecosystem, then you're gonna have an iPhone anyway. But it would have been just, it would have been nice to be able to use my Apple Watch with my Galaxy phone or with any phone that I wanted. And the last thing I don't like, this is pretty petty, which I know they call me Petty Roosevelt. The Nike band colors. Now they did step their game up, they got a few more colors, but if you go on the aftermarket scene, you're gonna see red, blue, green, yellow. They need to have more color choices for the Apple Watch bands. Other than that, no complaints, all right? They fixed my biggest gripe, which was the always on display. Everything else I can live with. Now, as far as the look, from Series 3, uh, Series 4 to Series 5, they actually look exactly the same. Same build quality, same weight, same look, same feel. But that biggest difference is the always on display. That's a game changer. Now look, if you had an Android phone, I know what you're saying. Oh, we had always on display for years. I know. I know. Apple is always playing catch up. Give them time to catch up. I always on display. Now that comes in handy for me. A lot of times I'm sitting in these little boring bullshit meetings and somebody's selling me a pitch that I don't really want to hear. You don't want to look like a douchebag and keep going like this to check the time. So now I can just be sitting like this, glance over and see the time. I love that. All right, so always on display. That's the biggest upgrade for this watch. Now, as far as battery life, According to Apple, all right, according to Apple, you're going to get better battery life. I'll put it to the chest. I'll give you a little update later on. But you should be getting better battery life, and it's not going to drain as bad with the always on display because they did drop the refresh rate from 60 to 1. So basically what that means in English, <laughs> the always on display is not going to kill your battery. Now, as far as the look and the feel, like I said, everything is the same. One of the best things I love about Apple Watches too is the bands, how easy it is to change these bands. I love being able to just press that button and just swipe off the band, just like that, and slap on something new. So I'm constantly changing my bands all day, every day. The display is beautiful, big and bright, nice and vibrant. That speaker is crazy loud. Let's go to settings real quick. Look at this. Now, personally, I like square watches better than the circle ones if I'm using it as a smartwatch. Now, a circle watch, like a Rolex or something, yeah, that's cool. But if it's a smartwatch, you want your stuff to look square so you can see everything, all your words, nothing gets cut off by the side of the screen. I'm feeling it like that. Definitely feeling it. Processor, nice and smooth, very fast. All right, you still got your fall detection. Now, let me tell y'all a quick story. I forgot that I had fall detection on this watch, right? So I'm down here in my basement shooting the videos. My basement is pretty much flooded. All right, it's like a warehouse down here. I got boxes all up and down the stairs. I'm coming down the stairs. I'm wearing my Apple Watch. I'm coming down the stairs. I'm carrying all these packages. I slipped and I fell. I ain't, I'm gonna keep it real. I slipped, I fell. I fell on maybe like the, the third step from the bottom. Boom, 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 fell right, right on my ass, mad hard. Now, I forgot I had fall detection. All of a sudden, I heard this sound going off from my watch. And I looked at the watch, and it said, according to my watch, it looks like I fell. Now, if you, it had, it's going to make it, making a little alert, and it's saying that if I don't stop the alert, 
in a certain amount of time, it's going to automatically call the police and send them to my address. That is so sick. I had fall detection really worked. And then I did when I fell, I was kind of mad that I fell. But after playing with the Apple Watch while I was on the ground, that kind of made me laugh. Because what if I was in a situation that I'm outside and I walk into my car and somebody go upside my head with a bat and rob me and I'm laying on the side of my car left for dead? At least my Apple Watch could save my ass. I, I'm feeling that. Fall detection, that's pretty sick. You also got your ECGs. Now I'm gonna test that out later too and see if that actually works but this might be able to save your life. You might be sitting somewhere, <laughs> you're getting ready to have a heart attack, and your Apple Watch will give you an alert telling you, uh, take your ass to the hospital. I love how this looks on the wrist too. The black on black, this is sick. All right, so fall detection, ECG, definitely feeling those apps. Let me see now. I'll just briefly tell you what do I use my Apple Watch for the most. I use it for making phone calls. Matter of fact, let's do a, let's do a little test call real quick. All right, so check this out. Let's call up the 24-hour diner and see what time they close. All right, 718-849-73. Here we go. Directly from the watch. Okay, let's ring it. Max volume. Yes, hi. Uh, what time you guys close tonight? Say that again, sorry. What time you close tonight? Well, it's 24 hours. Oh, 24 hours. All right. Okay, yeah, never close. All right, cool. All right, thanks a lot. Dick Tracy status right here, making phone calls directly from the watch. All right, so I use that a lot. I also like to send text messages, receive text messages, control your music. Let's go to music real quick. Oh, I'm not just remote. Let's go to, uh, let's see where we at. Let's go to music. Now, if I had, if I had some headphones connected, I'd be able to control my music right from the watch. Now that's a big deal. All right, that's a big deal. When you're in the gym and you got your Bluetooth headphones on, your phone is in your pocket, your hands is all sweaty. You don't want to keep pulling out your phone. Control your music directly from the watch. Real sick. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this quick. All of this stuff I already went over in full detail. I'll leave a link to my uh, Series 4 review if y'all wanna see everything tested out in full detail because they're exactly the same. All right, they're exactly the same. Let's see uh, some of these watch faces. All right, so here's the Nike faces. Got the Nike Digital. If you want to, you can customize these. Change the style. Change the colors. Let's see. Okay, let's go with that red joint. I like that one. It's real nice. Change the bottom. Let's see. We got the music, Pandora, podcast, radio. Got the weather, reminders. Got the stocks, stopwatch, timers. Got everything on deck. But if you want to, play with it for yourself. Let's uh, see anything else. Any other apps that I use a lot? We got the uh, BMW Connected. Where is that? There it is, Connected. This app is so sick. All right, if you got a BMW, make sure you get BMW Connected. You can start your car, roll down the windows, set off the alarm, everything directly from the watch. Now, one of the things that I love about Apple Watches too, there's no shortage of apps. All right, a lot of the good apps that work on your phone, they'll automatically port over to your watch. Shazam is another good one. All right, you outside in the store and you hear a dope song, Hit Shazam right from your watch. Get it like a boss. All right, so now let's go through the basic settings. Swipe down. Here's all your notifications. Swipe up. You got your quick toggles. So I got cellular service, Wi-Fi, ping. Now, ping is pretty sick. Say you lose your phone, hit ping. The phone will start ringing. So when you get in the car and you drop your phone between the seats and you can't find it, before you start to panic, hit ping. Now, I use that every day. Got battery percentage, you got silent mode, do not disturb, walkie talkie, you got theater mode. Say you go to the movies, you hit theater mode, the watch face will be dark and the watch will be on silent. You see that little water droplet? Say your watch gets wet and you wanna eject that water out of the speakers, all you gotta do is hit that little water droplet, it'll make a sound and it's pushing the uh, water out of the speaker. 
You got a flashlight, airplane mode, and you got your airplay. Now you hit your digital crown. This will bring up all your apps. You can zoom in or zoom out, or you can use your finger and select which app you want. If you want to see your recently used apps, hit the button on the side. There's all your apps, and you can close these out one by one. Now, if you want to take a screenshot, you hit the digital crown and the button at the same time, just like that. And if you want to use Apple Pay, press the button twice, pay directly from your watch. All right, so now let's check out the different watch faces. Now, if you buy the Nike version, you're going to have access to your Nike hybrids. That's all of these. Different colors, different setups. You got your Nike analogs. Bunch of different colors. Nike digital. Same thing, bunch of different colors. You got all your activities. You got astronomy. You got your breathe watch faces. California. You got your chronograph. Old school status, different colors. You got explorers, fire and water. That's those. You got gradients, your infographs. I like these two. Infographs and modular. Bunch of information on deck. You got your kaleidoscopes, liquid metal. Got Meridian. You got your classic Mickey and Minnie Mouse. More modulars. Modular and compact. You got different motions. You got your numerals. Numeral duos. Numeral monos. You can add any photo that you want. You got your pride watch faces. Simple. Siri. You got solar. Time lapse. Now these are dope. These will change during the course of the day. You got Toy Story. You got utilities. You got vapor. Extra large. And that's pretty much it. So again, if you buy the Nike version, you're gonna have access to the Nike watch faces. That's the digital, the analogs, and the Nike hybrids. All right, check this out. Now, if y'all watch my videos from a couple of years ago, y'all remember I did the mono chest? This was a hundred bucks. It's basically a case that holds all your Apple watch bands. Well, it went on sale, it's 50 bucks, so I got another one. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. All right, let's just pop this one open. I'm gonna just beast mode this. When it was 100 bucks, a lot of people thought it was too expensive, but I used it for maybe like three, four years straight. I recently just lost my other one. So I had to get a brand new one. This is so sick. Now you can buy this from Monowear Design. I'll leave the link up in the description. Looks exactly the same like the one I had before. Now check this out. This is sick. If you want to, you can have your Apple Watch right here. You can actually put your charger in here. Uh, you can put your Apple Watch charger in the back. Run the wire through. And right, I'll set that up in a second. But run the wire through. It'll charge your Apple Watch in the case. All right, I just got, let me get it in there nice and deep. Giggity. Hold on a second. Let me set this up right. All right, check this out. You put your Apple Watch charger in the back. Run the cable through. Now you drop your Apple Watch in. Charging up. Now if you got a whole bunch of bands, like I like to rock, I got the product red band. So I'll throw that in there. Like that. Let's see. I got uh, my Gucci watch band. Now on a side note, a lot of people have been asking me about this one. I got this from a website called the Custom Depot. I'll leave the link for that up in the description too. This one is a little bit pricey, but if you see the website, you'll understand why. Basically, Gucci doesn't make Apple Watch bands. So what he's doing is buying Gucci bags, cutting them up, and sewing them 
into watch bands. They look official tissue though. Drop that in there. Let's see, now if you want the fake Gucci ones, just the green and red color, get those two. Drop all your bands, set them up real nice. You see, I got a bunch of different bands, bunch of different watches. All right, here's my old Nike watch. And then you close this up. But look how the watch <laughs> just shows through the case. This is sick. All right, so if you travel a lot and you like to have all your different bands on deck, check out the mono chest. Like I said, for 100 bucks, that was a little bit too OD with the price. But for 50 bucks, this is more realistic now. All right, 50 bucks, that's more reasonable. Let's see, slap that in there like that. Slap this one in here like that. Oh, this is kind of sick. Okay, let's see, on this side, I'll leave the other Gucci one. Matter of fact, I'll do it upside down like this. Okay, like that. Let's see, we put, now, let's see, can I fit two of them in here like that? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, let me set this up. All right, so this is how it's gonna look when you travel. All you gotta do is plug in your cable, open up your case, you got all your different watch bands on deck. This is pretty sick. Now, let me show y'all one more thing. We got some UAG watch bands. Let's take a look at these real quick. Now, this is just a rugged strap. File that to the side. Oh, this is dope. And they got a nice brown leather band. Let me slap these on and see what they look like. All right, so here's the brown UAG. This one is kind of sick. Let's slap it on real quick. Let's see. Okay. Tuck this right under. Oh, this is hard right here. This is sick. Nice little leather joint. UAG branding. Just pop that off. All right, so let me slap on the Velcro one. Okay, now here's how the Velcro one is gonna look. This is real simple. Just Velcro it right on. UAG branding on it. Slides right off. Now, check this out. One more thing, I know I keep saying that, but Mono Wear, they also make this case. I forgot I had this one. Little leather pouch right here. Got your Mono Wear branding. You could just drop all your watch bands in, just like this. Bomb, drop that one in. Drop this one in. Got some more fake Gucci ones. <laughs> drop those in, just like that. Slap it up, and then just tie it. This one is um, this one is kind of cute too. All right, this one's kind of cute too, but I suggest getting the big boy right here. Look at this. Bomb. Inside it has that felt material. This is the boss case right here. All right, so let's wrap this up. All right, one more thing. All right, this is the last thing. Check this out. Now, you ever thought you lost something, and then when you see something that looks similar, it kind of gives you an idea of where you lost your original? I just had a quick brain freeze, and then it unfroze, and I found my old mono chest. Open it up. Looks exactly the same. All right, look at all these watch bands I had on deck. I got the camouflage right here. Got the blue joints. Now I had this one for so many years, you see, got kind of beat up, but still in excellent condition. This one I paid a hundred bucks for, 50 bucks on the new one. They look exactly the same though. But at 50 bucks, this one is more reasonable. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up.
Energize. Alright, bro. Can I get my... Come on, man. Alright, shoes is trolling, y'all. Shoes is trolling. Right, here, here. Come on, bro. Yo, calm down, bro. Alright, calm down. This is what goes on behind the scenes. Shoes be in full troll mode. Right, let me see if I can sneak it away real quick. Oh, look at that nail in there. Come on, bro. Look, there it is. There it is. Thank you.